No, we like to be cozy. Hello. How are you? I'm Harley. Good to meet you. Yes. Hey, Harley. What are we doing? What are we up to? Are we're waiting on you. Oh, crap. I'm sorry. We're painting the house now. He's a house. Yeah. I'm just waiting to see what's going on. Well, we're all going to stand up and dance. So. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, well, one of the, the primary reasons why I, I contacted Joanne was uh, because at the last uh, council meeting, uh, it was suggested that uh, we had not met with uh, with DL. Uh, so I invite you to come in and, and meet and just talk about whatever it is that you need to talk about. Uh, I imagine that what was meant was that we hadn't met as much as you would want to since we have had meetings and you have had meetings in the past. Well, no, I, I think I, the com and you made the comments. I do though. have to apologize. I did forget about that one meeting that you, we had with you Don't worry about shortly it. after the ordinance was mm -hmm. the non-action on it. No, it's but fine. you did say at that time that you would get back to us, and we didn't hear anything from you. That's true, and that is that is true. Uh, and in part, that uh, you know that was um, because we have not finalized the uh, uh, the bylaws and incorporation documents with the other two fire companies, uh, and waiting for them to get back to me as to the proposed changes to their draft that I had made. Uh, and also, uh, we're waiting to see what the council was, was going to do with respect to uh, the, um, the amendment to Chapter 25. Uh, so, uh, what I can tell you is, is that uh, they're supposed to vote on it tomorrow. And uh, I expect that it will be uh, adopted, which means that the ordinance goes into effect uh, depending on when the mayor signs it, 20 to 30 days thereafter. That's what I can't understand, though. Why put the cart before the horse? You just admitted you don't have the bylaws done already. That um, uh, amendment goes through ordinance, you're doing away with the fire companies. You've only got the new one that you don't even have bylaws for. The ordinance doesn't do away with the fire company. It's the way I wrote it, it does. It's not the way I wrote it. Where was this advertised? Because I haven't seen a copy of it. The ordinances are advertised in the newspaper. Forty mm -hmm. I believe it is, yeah. And the ordinances, once they're introduced, uh, they're available to anyone who, who wants to uh, to obtain a copy from the clerk's office. That's, well, do you have a copy of it now? Uh, yeah. yeah I, I said, but I'm just saying this is the same one. It's the same. It's the same one. It's the same as the eight two thousand thirteen. It's the same one that they didn't act on. What changed between it not being moved forward? And a month later, when they voted to move it forward, what has changed? What has changed was the couple of council members put it back on the agenda. Ken and Sherry? I don't know or remember who it is that put it back on the agenda. That's... So they put it back on the agenda, uh, which is something that, uh, from the administration's perspective, that we wanted anyway. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it was put back on the agenda, and they, uh, they voted on first reading, and there's a public hearing on it tomorrow. Okay, 25-5, Pemberton Township Volunteer Fire Company. A, there shall be one volunteer fire and emergency medical services company in the township of Pemberton, which shall be called the Pemberton Volunteer Fire and Emergency Services uh -huh. Company, here in Volunteer Fire Company and which shall extinguish fires and 
provide other emergency mm -hmm. services, including but not limited to emergency medical services in Pembroke <coughs> Township as a consideration for being recognized as the official municipal company. The volunteer company shall enter into a contract with Pemberton Township B. No, I, I, I'm familiar. I wrote it. I, I'm familiar with it. But what you said before was that it does away with the fire companies and an ordinance cannot do away with the fire companies. Obviously, when well, this recognition of the fire companies, then you, you can't I, do away, but you're doing away with recognition of them. No, we are creating a new structure and we will fit the and contracts it's the, with the only new one recognized. That's correct, that, that's how it will be once everything else is, is done. But how can you do that when you don't even have the structures? That is that is that is that is the basic that is the foundational part that is the foundational document is the the structure within the organization of the municipal government and then when there is a consolidated entity created then we will. See, per yeah, pers personally, personally, I think there's there, there's more to than what what we're what we're seeing is that these other two organizations are allowing this to be created without final review of the bylaws and, and everything else in it. You know, well, honestly, yeah. shame on them. But we heard that, that that's what that's week. that's what's happening. So it wasn't even voted on. you know, they they don't they don't care how it falls into play. I mean, you know, so yeah, that, their members don't even know what's going on. You we were told that by right? one of their members last night. But that's not an issue with what we're here yeah. for. We're here to talk about you. Well, we don't know either. Well, it, well, it is an issue on the, with the us, whole issue. We ask. Bylaws are very simple. It's, it's, a, it's an entity. It's, for this, it's an entity that's created to provide uh, fire suppression and emergency services, including EMS. It's as simple as that. Now, I put, I wanted to have more detail as to the structure of the entity in the bylaw so that it's consistent with what we would want. Uh, but, and that's, that's been provided to them, for them to, to review. What they do internally, I don't, I right. don't know. Uh, but And the, the old ordinance hasn't been followed. The old ordinance calls for a... I forget the word advisor. Some advisor. kind of the board to be created by the mayor to go over this stuff and advise on this. Ordinances are nothing more done. than black and white. They're they're on paper. They they only mean something if they're followed and and enforced. That's exactly. I mean, you see it every every council meeting. The, 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 uh, if if you're saying that the ordinance created an advisory committee that the mayor has to meet with then that was an ordinance that provision is illegal because the council cannot does not have authority to to create an advisory group and d direct that the mayor have that advisory group no. that's not that's not this form of government but in, 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 anyhow we you know in my, in my opinion it doesn't matter about that i think the key here is is that we're, we we are here to save presidential lakes. Yes. And I am assuming, and I don't know the council members personally, and I've never talked to them about how they vote on this issue or any other issue, to be honest with you, um, because I don't, I don't, I've never done that in any municipality, and I don't, I don't do that. That's that's for the politicians to do. Uh, but in any event, what I do is is to uh, make recommendations about structures, organizational structures, and how and how the rules and regulations and policies should be created and implemented. In this case, I can tell you very honestly that whether this is adopted or not, we are still going to move forward. Uh, our preference is to do it within the context of this ordinance, but 
it still doesn't prevent us from moving forward in a restructuring of the fire department anyway. So, uh, so from my perspective, I think PL has a decision to make. And that decision is, do you as individuals or as a group want to continue to provide services within the context of either that ordinance or, uh, or not? See, that's very nice and I, it's wonderful. Unfortunately, we have to deal with Augustoni. Augustoni is a lie. I don't. I don't want to. I, don't I know you don't, but I figure I've got you here no, now. No, no, and no. He's no. got the rest of his you life to be. No, you don't. You don't figure because you don't you, figure because I'm not here to talk about individuals. We I'm are on the receiving the side of his childishness. Listen, listen. If you're going to talk, if you're going to focus on this, then then the meeting's over. It, it can't be over. It well, it, 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 is, it, it is. It is. It is. It is because it we're is. not going to. I'm not going to sit here and talk about individuals because this is about an organization. Okay, we're going. We're, 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 we're are, are you willing to talk about a department? I have a question. I'm, I'm talking about a department. Okay. All right. Have you yes, ever been to Presidential Lake, sir? Yes. Yeah, we were around there, and how far we are away from I, Browns Mills. You Presidential Lakes will have fire service. From, from where? From where? Well, Presidential Lakes is either going to have fire services from Presidential Lakes or you're going to get fire service from Woodland. Who can't even provide fire service.